Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Comics Miss Explains. We're gonna try this out, see how it goes. We're gonna do the much talked about, highly anticipated, brand new from Marvel, The Spicy Phoenix Resurrection. Now, I'm not sure why they call it The Spicy, maybe because it's extra caliente, extra fire, she's extra hot, I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyways, it starts off with these two kids, and they're arguing over Rocky. She's like, Rocky 3 was the best. He's like, nuh-uh, Rocky 4 was hard as fuck. And I gotta give it to my man, Rocky 4 was pretty hard as fuck. Anyways, they're riding around, and they see a body. Someone got wet up. So they go and inspect it, they're like, haha, cool. Let's go check it out. And then, next panel goes over, and this girl sits up. And they're like, oh shit, what's going on? And she's like, Rocky V was the best one. And you know that's scary, because ain't nobody like Rocky V. So something weird is going on with her. And all of a sudden, this other girl pops up. She's like, hi, smell my farts. And then it goes to two hours later. X-Men arrive on the scene. And they're talking to the cops. And the uh, cop's like, what brings you all the way out here? And Kitty Pride's like, yo, mama. And the cop's like, all right, well, we, we got her under, under control. You know, we don't really need you here. And she's like, I appreciate that, officer, but here's the thing. Your mama's fine as hell, and I got to show her my stuff. And he's like, well, we don't get a lot of mutant stuff out here, so it's cool. Then it goes back to what happens to those kids. And that girl said, smell my farts, she just lets one rip. And she's just floating up in the air, levitating because it's so strong. And the kid's like, run, we gotta go, get out of here. And so they try to bail out. Then it goes back and she's Nightcrawler and Rachel. She's like, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. And he's like, damn girl, got any more booger sugar? So I guess she has a problem or something with the snow. But uh, anyways, that's just none are here or there. It goes back to Kitty Pride talking to the cop. He's like, where are these kids at? We want to talk to them. And the cop's like, there's some weirdness going on. They're like, what are you talking about? It's like, no, they're not in the hospital. We don't want to touch them. Check it out for yourself. So they go and check out the two kids. And I guess they're just floating there, uh, farting, just inches off the ground. They must have got something contagious or something from that other girl that was farting. So, uh, so like, yeah, that's pretty weird. And then Beast and Kitty Pryde get a meeting with all the X-Men. They kind of explain everything we've already gone over to everyone else. So everyone gets on the same page. And Sabretooth's like, that's it. We're all here for a couple of floating kids. And Kitty Pryde is like, whatever caused this, put Rachel in the infirmary. And so I don't think she knows about her cocaine problem, but whatever, that's neither here or there. Anyways, I thought it was interesting that editorial kind of crossed out all beast dialogue and just put stupid nerd shit. Because I guess he goes on for too long and it rants and raves and no one really cares about what he's saying because we already got the point of it. And even Wolverine's like, yeah, cut to the chase. He's like the reader, what the reader's thinking. So, uh... It's like, alright, cut to the chase. And Kitty Pride's like, okay, well, we got an unusual phenomena happening. We're going to Manhattan. We're going to France. And lastly, uh, we're going all the way up top. We're going up north, the North Pole. And you see my man, Santa. They're gonna go after him. I think it's kind of messed up, but whatever. So then, this one girl's like, thank you for all the science facts and pretty maps, Kitty, but I still don't know what you're telling us. What's happening? And Kitty Pride at this point is, has no patience and just sighs. He's like, <sighs> You stupid bitch. We're going to find out. I'm selecting three teams to head out. If I don't pick you, then you're a waste of space, and whoever's reading this shouldn't give a flying fuck about you. So I thought that was weird. They broke the fourth wall with Kitty Pride. It's like a Deadpool comic now or something, I guess. So then they're just arriving on scene uh, in their different spots. And uh, you know, you got a creepy castle. Got this other place, and you got the North Pole, and Wolverine's like, well, this is fucked. It's you know, cold as hell. But they're there trying to find what's happening with the phenomena. These guys are in the inner circle area, and that one girl's there for some reason. She's like, someone is here, I feel them. And Kitty Pryde's like, you ignorant slut, open your damn eyes. It's like obvious they're just surrounded by all these, like, this whole entire crew is gonna attack them. Even Nightcrawler's like, we have company, Fräulein. 
And Kitty Pryde's like, no shit, fucking morons. She's just tired of it. Everyone's just so dumb. And it goes over to this crew, and there's just everyone's telling Iceman to shut up because he's trying to be funny and they're just not having it. They told him like two times, shut up, Bobby. And uh, then all of a sudden they're like, look out, and something, some creature, person, thing attacks Rogue, just smacks her. She's like, oof. And then it goes and over to these guys, and they're walking through the North Pole, trying to figure out what's going on with the phenomena, and they look into the horizon and they see like these two figures. They're like, what, what is that? And you can kind of see them there in the distance right there. But uh, yeah, something's out there. He's like, I don't smell anything. So we're gonna figure out what those are. And he's like, Betsy. And she's like, it's, I, I don't know what it is. He's like, wait, I know what it is. <laughs> and, uh, and so then we're gonna see what it is. Once well, this slow ass panel it's taking a sweet ass time to reveal. It's like, oh shit, it's a young Wolverine Santa. He's like, it's them. And these guys are hellfire guards. What's going on? And all of a sudden, Jubilee just like bites down on one. It's Mike Tyson's one right in the neck. She's like, nom nom. And it's like, they made a chocolate. And Kitty Pryde's like, good enough for me. X Men eat up. And I'm like, damn, they're gonna eat all these chocolate guys, all of them. That's a lot of chocolate. I don't think they can do it. And like, no matter how hungry you are, that's a lot of chocolate. And then it goes back to these guys, and Rogue's like, everyone stand back. And Iceman's like, haha, okay, you're a funeral dummy. And she's like, he sucks your life force. And he's like, ooh, is he single? And the bad guy slams Rogue. She's like, uh. Oh. And the bad guy's like, nah, 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 nah. And then they're like, oh no, Rogue's down. And he's like, all right, we'll take him. Just like, don't touch him. Because you don't want to get your life force sucked out. So uh, then it pops over to these guys. And Sam's just dabbing. Wolverine snicked in. All of a sudden, bang, Domino shoots young Wolverine in the head. And Wolverine's like, Domino, she's like, what? He's obviously not the real you, sweetheart. He's like, I think. And Sabretooth's like, I got this. I love killing this G. And then young Wolverine isn't having to slice him. And young Santa's just dabbing in the back. And uh, all of a sudden, they're like, oh, it's too much chocolate. We gotta get out of here. Colossus. And he's like, damn, bitch. I gotta get everyone out of here myself. And he breaks through the wall. And he's like, oh, and Kitty Pride's like, nah, 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 nah. So, you know, he saved them. They're just exiting out. They're getting out of there. There's too many guys. And they're bailing. And then uh, Cyclops is like, I can't get a clear shot. And this one dude's like, ah, I guess Mike Tyson also has been in the neck. He's like, Hank, hey. he's like, I told you kids to stay back. And Rug punches the monster thing to the wall. And uh, they're like, what was that? She's like, one of Magneto's old boyfriends, semen something. And this guy's like, that make my stinky boner horny, which is kind of weird writing from Matthew Rosenberg, I guess. I don't know why he would say that. Anyways, Domino's like, giddy up, cowboy. And he's like, buck, buck, bench. And just like smacks her. And she's like, ah. And then uh, I guess it's just old man Wolverine and these two. And uh, that's what it comes down to in the end. He's like, looks like it's just us, Santa. Claws, and they're like, "What just happened? Where'd they all go? They just vanished." And then these guys too were like, "Strange for this semen to be here now, isn't it?" He's like, "I say so, sugar, especially considering that it's been all up in your mom's guts." And he's like, "Of course he has." And then Wolverine's like, "Or not?" So I guess all the bad guys just like disappeared out of nowhere, and they're wondering what's going on, which is good because they're kind of you know got their asses handed to them. So uh, then like, "Oh man, you guys seeing this right?" They're like, oh no, like, this is uh, not good. And uh, they were all looking up in the sky, this like phenomenon was happening. And you got X-23 in the back here for no reason. It's like, fuck you, God. <laughs> and I thought that was kind of just weird and inappropriate. Anyways, it goes over and there's like the Maven family guy. She's like, no, no. And it looks like this giant phoenix in the sky and she's just flying over. And, uh, giving her a sunburn. She's like, no, no. And uh, then it shows her, her face, I guess, and she's like, no, no. And it shows Jean, finally. Jean pops up, and you wonder where she's been? Well, she's been a maid. She's been cleaning this whole entire time. She's like, no, no, no. 
So that's what happened to Jean. She's been cleaning this whole damn time. And uh, now uh, they come to the diner and like, Andy, did you see that? And he's like, see what, Gladys? It was like a big bird inside the sun. So like, you sure you haven't been binging on that rum raisin ice cream again? So I guess she has a past history of coming to work drunk or something. I'm not sure, I guess is what they're trying to tell us. She's like, no, nah, tell her, Jeannie, you saw it too. She's like, yeah, it could have just been some clouds. He's like, well, that settles it. It's either a sun bird thing or it's clouds. He's like, all right, well, someone try to take Agent Cooper's order today. She's like, how are you today, Agent Cooper? And, you know, he's just cheer to him. And uh, he's like, coffee, black, and a slice of cherry pie. Ever been to Tibet? And uh, she's just looking out the window and not even paying attention. She's just, she's like a maid. She's like, I'm not a, a waitress. So uh, I guess she's walking home. And she finally gets home. She walks to the door. And she's like, hello? And then he went home. And she has like this pet bird in the background. He's like, help, this bitch crazy. And she's like, oh, someone's glad to see me. She's like, ha ha, eat this old ass Tide Pod. And he's like, Jean. And I guess it's her mother. And she's like, you trying to kill Waldo again? It's like, it was good, weird, but good. He's like, what was weird? And there was this, I don't know, dad, I think I'm just tired. And you know, she's just kind of all messed up. She's just, I don't know, evil or something, I think. I don't know, she's trying to kill this bird. It's like, actually, do you have time to talk, dad? It's important. And this is bad timing because the stepmom's just trying to, you know, iron him up. He's like, your stepmother wants my stinky boner right now. She's like, I know, I'm sorry. He's like, well, you can cancel dinner then, your guests outside. And she opened the door and Scott Cyclops is back and he's like, my dad owns a dealership. And the bird's like, save me. And uh, that's how it ends, to be continued, I guess. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. And, uh... Uh, you know, I guess uh, at the end they always have where all the letters are, and uh, here's a spiny, the spicy phoenix resurrection afterward. And usually, there's like letters from from readers and uh, a letter from you know the writers, Matthew Rosenberg, and it just is Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Matthew Rosenberg, New York City, and the middle finger emoji. Um, so that's kind of weird, but thanks for watching. And uh, that's it.